Hi and welcome ladies and gentlemen. Today we're talking about finding the longest palindrome in a string. So what is a palindrome? A palindrome is yeah, a string that is the same in reversed order. So if we turn it around and reverse it, it is still the same string. Alright, so what is the basic idea? The basic idea is that we start with the longest uh, yeah, substring in the string. Initially it is um, our normal string and then we start checking the end and the beginning is the character equal. Then we have um, yeah, a match so we can go one further in. Then we check the second character and the second last and so on until we are in the middle and if they are equal then we can say that it is a palindrome. Alright, so that is the basic idea. And if it is not, then we check the palindrome of the string one, um, yeah, one in length shorter. Basically meaning if the string is the length six, then we have two substrings of the length five with the beginning in the first position to the fifth position and from the second position to the sixth position. All right, so let's have a look at an example. Well, here we have the um, word A, B, C, B, A, A, B, A, C, B. And we start at A, the length of the whole string is nine and our end is 8, so we have a zero index string. All right, what we do first is we set our i to the first index here and we set our n minus i to the last index. Then we have our wall string here and now we start comparing the index zero here where i is and n minus zero, that is the eight. And there we check are these equal. If they are equal, then we keep going and increase our i. So we check um, the index 1 and n minus 1, which is 7 and so on. But these two are not equal here. It is a and b, so it can't be a palindrome. So we keep going and decrease the length of our string. All right, so now we have the length of our string is eight and we start at zero at index zero and we end at index seven. So we basically look at the, um, at the string A, B, C, B, A, A, B, C. And there we set our I again to zero and our um, N minus I to the end, which is here seven. So we basically have this string here again and now we compare the index at i and the index at n minus i and these are not equal again. All right, so we can check the second string of length 8 and that is here from the index 1 to the index 8 and the length is also 8 with that. And our string is B, C, B, A, A, B, C, B. All right, then we set our i again to the index 1 and our n minus i to the index 8. Now we have the string here and we can compare the index or the, the character at index i and the character at index n minus i. In this case, it is b and b, they're equal. Then we can increase our i. So our i is now um, one greater. So we compare c and c, which means the uh, character at index two and the character at index seven. And we can keep going. If we find a mismatch, then it can be a palindrome and we can stop. And then we keep decreasing the length of our word that we have a look at. And otherwise we keep going here and we find this is our palindrome. So we are actually done with that. So let us implement that in Python now. For that I open my Visual Studio and I create a new file 
Code find longest palindrome dot python and there I go in and I want like an input string and I uh, I take the same string here again. Let me have a look. That was a b c b. All right, a b c b a a b c b. All right. So the length of our input is input length. We say now that we want to have a look at um, the length of our input string. And then we can go through this string and um, yeah, check if it is a palindrome. For that we need a function that actually checks whether it is a palindrome. So I say def is palindrome and there I give in our string. So I say just input string here and then I go through the wall string and check if the indices at the beginning and at the end are the same. So here I go in and say for i in range and now we want to actually go with i to the half of the string because then um, yeah, if you do that from the beginning and from the end they will meet in the middle. So we need our math package here import math and then we say here math.floor and there we take um, the length of our string. So input here we say length input string and then we say minus one here because that gives us exactly always the midpoint. All right. So that looks so good so far. All right, and then we can here say if the index if input string i equals to input string and minus i, then we return or oh, let's say if that is not equal, then we leave the um, function and return false here. And otherwise, if that's good for all, then we say we return true. Now we need our n and our n is exactly the length of our input string. So we say here n is the length of our input string. And we want here mass floor n divided by 2 minus 1 in the end. All right, so good so far. And now we can go in and say um, while. And now I want um, the lang length of our current string. So while input length, we say now is greater than zero. So we have to check now for all the sizes and we start with input length, which is initially the length of our input string. So we go in here and say if is palindrome and there we want our input string and we actually want it from i until um, and there we say the length minus i, so input length minus i. That gives us exactly the right and then we need to set our i for example, it is zero if we go from zero to five in our input string and it is one if we go from one to six with the indices. So we go for i in range and now here we need actually the length. So we say 
um, input length and there we say minus the length of our or no differently the length of our input string so input string minus input length input length we will change that and we say here not input length we s let's call that current length so we use here these two current length current length and then we can check here if that is a palindrome then we create here our longest palindrome equals an empty string for now we say longest palindrome is equal to our input string and there we take i and current length minus i and then we can check here if and then we can say here break because we found one and then we say here if our longest palindrome and we actually want to check the length is greater than zero then we can say break here and then I want to print down here our longest palindrome all right so good so far so we go in we go through all of our oops here i need to say current length here we go through all of our um, substrings with the length um, current length and then we check uh, is this a palindrome if it is then we set our palindrome leave the for loop and then the length of our longest palindrome is greater than zero here and we do a break oops otherwise else we want to um, reduce here the current length by one current length minus equals one all right, so let's check out if that works. We get a string index out of range in line 10. So let's have a look here. And here we have to actually use n minus one minus i because this, uh, the length is, um, or otherwise string, strings are indexed by zero. So we have to decrease it by one here. So let's check if that works. So here we get CB. That is not yet correct. So we check this for this one. We check our, we go in and say in the beginning is I zero. Then we check if zero to current length minus zero is here um, our String that is fine, that is our complete string. If that is a palindrome, it, then we break, it isn't. So here we actually have to add one also, because otherwise, uh, uh, because in the range, our last index is not included. So let's see. So we have here CBA, that is not yet correct. So let me have a look and I'll be back in a second. Alright, there I am back and I found the mistake and the mistake is actually here that I um, subtracted i from current length and I have to add it here because um, we want the substring, let's say current length is 5 from 0 to 5, then we want it from 1 two, six, and so on. So we don't um, subs subtract our i there, we have to add it. And if we run it, then, then it runs as you see. And we can also check it on another string, let's say 
I take just one, two, three, four, seven A's. So we got, should get our seven A's here. And that is exactly what we get. All right, ladies and gentlemen, tell me down in the comments below what you think about this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to the channel whenever you get informed um, when I upload new videos. All right, so have a great day. Bye.